As his teeth dragged across my skin, a shark in shallow water, I said, no. Barefoot in front of a crowd, Kayla Fraser recites a poem of pain, betrayal, and violence. She is part of a group of poets who met at Carleton University to raise funds and awareness to address violence against women. I think talking about it more is, is definitely one way to, to get started. Because when it comes taboo and we just sit on these things, like no, no change can be affected. Yusra Uzer organized the poetry show. She hopes the poetry will help uncover problems veiled in shame. Once you address the issues that are uncomfortable to talk about, swiping them out under the rug and pretend like out of sight, out of mind, then those things are never going to be de dealt and we're never going to reach that ultimate goal of eliminating violence against women. But despite decades of work to combat gender-based violence, research shows little has changed. In 2011, 76 of 89 spousal homicides were committed against women. In 2010 alone, the number of women killed by a partner increased by 19%. And although an estimated half million Canadian women experience sexual assault every year, only 10% are reported to police. Holly Johnson is a professor of criminology at the University of Ottawa. She says gender-based violence is still as much a problem today as it was 30 years ago. And I just feel frustration because I've been working in this field since the 1980s. And we have, uh, we're still, we're repeating the same messages but she is still hopeful education can help solve the problem. Well, raising awareness is important because we live in a culture that takes for granted, I think, a lot of myths and biases about women that contribute to their vulnerability. And poetry is just one way to get the message across. In Ottawa, I'm Fiona Buchanan. Free and fearless. Blessings, thank you.